Hi, Mike Fresner with Vespa TV here, and I am here with Simon Clifford, and we are at Techmar, and Simon has been in the industry as long as I can remember, and he has uh, some great products that I think uh, are, are very useful to everyone in the industry. So, uh, how are you doing today? Uh, I've had a great day. I mean, show's been fantastic. To be honest with you. That's great. Um, you, what, do you, what products do you have here? What are you showing today? Uh, today we've been showing our spot cleaning systems, which are uh, an industry standard for removing inks and stains. Uh, our bulk adhesive systems, which are water-based technology that eliminate the need for the aerosol cans and the spray going everywhere, keeps it nice and clean and it's very economical. I mean, in a real 100% green system. It's just, uh, that's great, and that's important. That's been highlighted all over the show. Green is the buzzword. Yep. And uh, what we have is about as green as it gets. It's a water-based acrylic table adhesive. Uh, greater than 99% of the ingredients are unlisted ingredients. And the solid content of our adhesive means that one gallon replaces almost 72 spray cans. Wow, that's a lot. Can you show us that? Absolutely, yeah. Um, one of the challenges with my system is people can't see the glue and they don't believe it's coming out. So we actually get some black paper and we show them on black paper how the glue sprays, otherwise they won't see it. And if you can get a shot down here, you'll see it's a real fine mist of adhesive. When we spray that on the palette, we get this super fine mist that goes on the palette. There's no overspray, there's no glue going all over the shop. The glue is already sticky and it doesn't transfer and you stop having the bed sheet stick to you at night and that permanent wave in your hair from the aerosol adhesive. Yeah, I've it had that. A, it really makes a difference. Uh, we've been showing people on our equipment, there's no glue, which means it's not traveling, which is just, uh, in the screen printing industry, if you can cut down on that adhesive and that mess, wow, press is lost. So, so you're printing, you've done a couple hundred shirts, uh, and, and you've built up a nice layer of felting on your yeah. pad and you keep going or can you reactivate it since it's water-based? How does that work? It doesn't really reactivate because it's water-based but it's not water-soluble. So once it's dry it's just the acry acrylic polymer. But you can take a, a sponge and you can pull off the lint and or if people use palette tape after you know, you've printed a couple of thousand shirts you can reapply it. You can reapply the tape and, re and start printing again. But most people build up is never really a problem because you're putting down such a fine amount of adhesive you're not getting that giant transfer of the, of the adhesive and the fleece going onto the palette. Approximately how many shirts would you do per spray? Um, once you've got a base of adhesive and some people will, will spray a heavier coat, flash off the palettes and then just give a quick touch up. You can run anywhere from, uh, I've got people running from a dozen to a hundred shirts on an application, depending upon the type of cotton, how much uh, uh, fiber's coming off there, ring span, open end. And how does the adhesive hold up to flash cure? 700 degrees, heat stable. So with no flashing problems at all, never shifts, never gives up. That's great. And you have another product over here? We have another new, new whoa, careful, careful. We have another new product. Uh, this is the... Come around over here. Gonna come around. This is the uh, T-TAC. T-TAC is uh, big for the... Um, the all-over printing market. When they print all over the shirt, they need to stabilize the shirt by sticking the front to the back of the shirt. Otherwise, if they just stick the back of the shirt down, the front rolls, registration goes off. This particular machine sprays a starch-based adhesive inside the shirt. Pull the shirt off, lay it flat, smooth it out, let it sit, and then after about 30 seconds, the shirts are stuck together. So you do a whole stack of shirts. When you're done, shirt pops apart, there's no residual, no adhesive, it's just a starch-based powder that just disappears. Anything that may be in the shirt is gone in the first wash, and it allows stabilization during the printing process. Uh, someone scored. Uh, the, this is for all over screen printing, yes. but don't you think that this could also be used for the digital guys who now don't open the shirts like we used to, and they exactly. lay one shirt down and digital on top of it? Exactly, and this stops it, for the, it really stabilizes the shirt, because the problem is you lay the shirt down and it starts to roll on the surface or gets moved, and you haven't got a stable platform, it would be like taking your your flat stock paper and, and, and shaking it between colors and what you're going to have, you're going to have... So can you demonstrate it? Absolutely, uh, yeah, I'd like to demonstrate this, I can just... Uh, a two-man operation, you'd have two people just uh, grab the shirt and grab the sleeve and grab the, the shirt, slide it over the arm. And if you notice when we spray, we have an air system that actually blows the adhesive into the sleeves. So I'm going to spray it right now. If you can catch the sleeves, you'll see what happens here. So the sleeves actually open up, it sprays the adhesive in. You'd pull the shirt off, you'd put it on the table, you'd smooth it out. 30 seconds later, shirts stuck together, 
And Michael, if you shove your hand in there and feel that shirt, you'll feel there's no residual. Oh, that is. That's you can't feel anything. And uh, the, but the shirt is stabilized for all over printing. And that'll all what what there is will wash out it, right it, away. Yes, it's because it's starch based. It's a it's a corn starch based product and. Uh, been quite the buzz at the show. We've had a lot of interest. We've had a lot of machines sold, and uh, we have a lot of machines on their way to, to Asia. Now, what do, you, what do you call this machine again? It's called T-Tech. T-Tech. T -Tech. T -Tech. And uh, what would be a base price for a base unit? Um, typical base price, uh, U.S. market about twenty-two ninety-five. The uh, European market has been about uh, nineteen hundred and ninety-five euros because the euro is not that strong right now. So. Uh oh, <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> well, um, how, how have, have you been doing at the show? I mean, you just told me that you just cleared off the floor. Well, actually, yeah. I mean, the little bonus for us is to move our inventory, and uh, we've just moved just about every piece of inventory on the booth, but. The key here is my connections, the contacts with the people, the ongoing business, and all the relationship with my distributors. Uh, How many years have you been coming to FESPA? Uh, I've been coming to FESPA for about 15 years, I think, 15 years now. Wow, and it's been, have you seen it grow? Uh, I've seen it grow, and I've seen it uh, mature into a, uh, a very professional show that takes a uh, an industry that used to not be as exciting as it is today. Now it seems to be very exciting again. Well, I hear people cheering all over. It must be how exciting the industry is. It is absolutely. They are cheering for everything that's going on in the World Cup world, world today. And uh, we are just very proud to know that the USA, my adopted country, and my former country, the UK, are both through. And the UK will be playing Germany on Sunday, which should be a very interesting match. And uh, uh, if people wanted to look at your products online, what's your website? Website is techmarltd.com. T-E-K-M-A-R-L-T-D.com. Thank, thank you very much, Simon. You thank take you care much. and thank travel you. well. Thank you and you, sir. And there you have it. Uh, more innovative products that uh, you might need. Check them out. Go to their website. And thanks for tuning in to FESPA TV. Stay tuned for more exciting stuff.